So I'm going to start off this video by pointing out the fact I'm a little bit of a fan of Umqua fishing packs. And also, when I get out this big pile of packs, this meme right here comes to mind. So, just so you know, I'm not wealthy. I just like good fishing equipment. So I'm going to get some of these packs out of the way because I wanted to go over the Overlook pack. I've been using this gray one. It's like the first one they came out with. I can't even remember how many years ago, maybe about six or seven years ago. And I've got a few new packs since then, as you can see, a sling pack, a smaller, a smaller, um, this is the Rock Creek. And I've even got a waste pack that I use when I'm drift fishing. But let's start by getting some of these out of the way. So the intent of this video is to go over the Overlook chest pack and kind of what they've done over the years. So to start out with, this is the first model they came out with. It's the Overlook 500. Now these first models, they didn't come with a backpack portion. I don't know if you can see this, but this is a just mesh back here. It does have a pouch. I often keep a stringer and a few other things back there, but there's not a lot of room back there. Now the reason that I decided to buy some of the newer models is because I like the idea of having that backpack, especially since I film my fishing trips. I have batteries and extra camera equipment that I want to carry with me, and I don't like having all the weight right up front. I get so much stuff in here, including batteries and fishing gear, it starts to kind of pull on my back and it, it, it gets to be uncomfortable. The average fisherman with the average amount of gear probably won't experience that, but again, because I have so much weight in here, I decided I wanted to distribute that some to my back, and so I actually bought this model at the beginning of 2020. Now, this is the second model they came out with. It comes with the chest pack, and it comes with a flat panel in addition to the backpack. So these are interchangeable, so this piece can go on here instead of the backpack and it's essentially similar to my gray one. Now the problem with this pack, I've used it just a couple times, is I could not find a good way to clip my GoPro to it. One option that I was doing is I was taking, like I'll show you here, this is my GoPro Hero 9. So I was clipping it to the front by leaving this pocket open. Now, this isn't ideal because every time I try to get into this pocket, I'm having my $350 camera just kind of hanging on there and it's kind of interfering with accessing this pocket. So, I was looking around at other reviews on the, the newest Overlook, which I'll go over in just a second, and it has the perfect method of holding a GoPro. So this one, I don't know, maybe I'll use it for something else. So a shout out to YouTuber Men the Line because he did a review of this chest pack and I saw on his thumbnail this GoPro mount and for me this is going to work perfect. Haven't had an opportunity to switch everything over yet, but this is what I've been looking for. So this is just a backpack strap. Velcro's on. It's actually designed for a backpack, but this strap right here, it's going to work perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and install this just to kind of show you. So it mounts on like that. I take my GoPro. And this is my Hero 9. So there you have it. So that's a great way to mount that. Once this is full, that's going to really support support that GoPro. And that keeps it out of the way of those those pockets so that I can access the pockets. And I don't and I'm not going to worry that if I have my pocket open if that that's going to fall off. So it's going to work out just just great. So I figure on the video as I'm transferring my stuff from my old trusty Overlook 500 to this new one. I'll go over the features of the new one as because it's new to me. 
So the front pocket looks about the same as my old one. Almost looks exactly identical. The main pocket's a little bit different. It looks like it has one less pocket. My old one, this portion back here has a pocket that zips. So I'm going to miss that, I have to say. So Umqua, please put that back. But anyway, I liked having that pack back, back there. So you can see here, this new one comes with both the flat panel and the backpack. So let's go ahead and get that set up because I'm going to be using the backpack. So these are really easy to take on and off. It's just like the second model. So there's the back panel right there that's going to come right off. And what I have found is you want this chest pack to, I like to have it about right, like, about right here. So I'm going to take these clips and I'm going to put them pretty high. I'm going to put them on the second, the second one. See how that works out for me. Let's try that. So that's probably going to work. I might even move it down to the third level, but let's just leave it there for now. One, one new feature on this that I'm eager to try out is it's got a net holder. Now I normally clip my net to a magnet on the back using one of these D-rings. And so the, the handle of my net will actually be down lower so I can reach back and grab that net when I'm trying to hook or trying to land a fish. But this one is designed to where I can just stick the handle in this, in this uh, little carrier here, which I haven't had an opportunity to try yet, but I am hopeful that that will work just as good as the magnet. So I'll still use a leash, which I'll attach to my wading belt. But our steelhead salmon landing, landing nets are pretty good size. So I kind of have a feeling that's going to be sticking up quite a ways. So we'll see how that goes. Worst case scenario is I'll just clip my net with a magnet to this. And it's just going to have to kind of hang off of here. So the backpack, has a, I mean, it's not a huge backpack. But it's enough that I'm going to be able to put some pips boxes. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. So like my pips boxes that hold my leaders. Extra bobbers. I just go ahead and keep my AF7 aero floats in these bags because it's got the weights and the extra rubber bands. I can throw some of my BNR soft beads that I normally keep in the front, which are just extras. Put those in the back because obviously when you're on the river and this is on your back you're not going to be able to access this so it's kind of like a storage area for stuff that you don't need immediately so i noticed already these straps can go down there's kind of a storage area for that extra strap so go ahead and i don't know if you could see that but i'm going to go ahead and shove those down inside there keep those out of the way so from this is my steelhead box. I've got Phil Turbo Masters in here. I've got some Aeroflot AF6s, jigs, weights. I have a few spinners thrown in here, beads, and swivels. So this is going to go in the main compartment. Got some more beads. Might as well throw those in. So now let's get into the front pouch. Now. As I'm going, I noticed that I uh, have a tape measure. This last week when I hooked that fish on the, on the video, Mystery River Steelhead, I had a lot of trouble finding this. It was buried in my pouch because I haven't needed it for a while. So I'm going to start stowing that on this exterior pouch so that it's quick. And if I've, I'm handling a steelhead, it's, it's right there and I don't have to dig around for it. So I've got some spools of line. I'm going to put those in the main compartment because what ends up happening in this pouch here, I generally put my cell phone on the inside of this. 
So that's probably where my cell will go. Let's see here. So I, in the front pouches, I also carry my steelhead spinners. Those have the single hook on them. So I'm going to continue to do that. Just transferring them. A lot of this is just transferring. It's almost identical as far as the pouches go. I always carry a knife. A few of the rivers that I fish have hatchery fish. So you want to have a knife handy so that if you need to cut a gill, you can do so. So I can take this off at this point. This is just showing that you can add some nippers to the top and that it'll actually come, it'll come through here. And you could just attach them to these rubber uh, holders inside here. I always use one of these boomerang tools. So I don't know if it's going to be feasible to put that. I don't know if I want to do that. I'll probably just hang this boomerang tool off of one of the straps on the side over here. Yeah, it looks like that's going to work just perfect for me. Something else I carry is uh, extra leader material. For bead fishing for steelhead, I have pre-cut like 12 foot of CXX 15 pound test line, 12 foot sections. I date it just so I know if it sits in this pack for too long to replace it with something new. So I'll put that in these inside pockets as well. I've got some extra tubing for my bobbers. Let's see. I think I've pretty much got everything out of there. Some extra bobber stops. Now something else we've been carrying recently is some safety whistles. So they're designed to get people's attention like if you have an accident but the reason that I actually got them is sometimes like Risco or David and I will be separated a little bit and one of us will hook a fish and the river's so loud it's hard to get each other's attention so I put these little safety whistles on there and I'm going to continue to hold one of those on the side but again if you end up falling in and I don't know break your leg I don't know what could potentially happen probably a lot it's nice to have a, a safety whistle the this is how I hold on to my net it's just a magnetic net release I'm gonna go ahead and switch that over right now just in case this net holder doesn't work out right. So I got that on there. Again, like I mentioned, I fish a river that has some, or several rivers that have hatchery fish, so I always keep a stringer with me. Got some pink worms. And that pretty much does it. I'm sure I'll use this for some other purpose, or maybe I won't like having the backpack and I'll end up going back to it. Of course I have a flat panel for this one, so why would I do that? So I'll put this on just to kind of show you how it works. I can take this off. So I've been pretty happy with all of my Umqua gear. I'm eager to use this new one. I know that Somebody's mentioned to me that they worry that the chest pack will get in the way of reeling and such And I have to say that was something I had to get used to when I started using chest packs probably about 10 years ago, but you get used to it So obviously you can see this is going to be above water level Because I, I generally don't wade over about my waist So that'll keep all of your gear up out of the water. I'm excited to try out this new GoPro mount I think that'll keep my GoPro out of my way as well. So if these tips are helpful, make sure to hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I put out a new fishing video every Friday at 6 p.m. and I put out some tips and, and gear reviews in between. 
you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I get back to everybody. And if I earned it, hit the like button. So I'll see you on the next one.